everyone, this is your instructor Joy. So we're gonna work on double steps today. about double stops asking what the bow speed and weight would be and another um, question was if I could um, explain the different right hand motions in double stop playing versus in single note so I'm going to answer two questions in this one video so um, first of course you have to clean your left hand intonation well but since the questions were concentrated concentrated on your right hand, I'm going to answer that one uh, more focused on that. Um, by the way, thank you very much for your questions and, uh, and nice comments and donations. So, um, about both speed and weight, because, let me first start explaining about a sounding point of each string. Each string has a different sounding point. Sounding point is when the, when the note sounds the best on each string. So the sounding point on each string is closer to the break. A string a little farther away, but we can go quite close to the uh, bridge still. D string quite far away, about in the in between the bridge and the fingerboard. G string so much so, so much far that's almost closer to the fingerboard. As you can see, each string has a different sounding point, sounding um, the best sounding spot. So when you're playing um, multiple string, whether it's two or three, um, we have to compromise because it's just impossible to play at once. If you do, good for you. <laughs> I haven't figured it out. Um, so we have to pick which note will get the sounding point, therefore will sound more resonant and nicer. And the other one, um, you have to compromise either by putting more weight, yeah, mostly by putting more weight on the other string. Um, so that's uh, something it's good for us to understand about sounding points. Um, when you practice uh, double stops, like it's just a simple scale, uh, whether it's a car flash or anything, um, because there's no specific melody, you can just pick either upper line or lower line as a primary note, therefore it gets the sounding point, more resonant sound. And the secondary one, if you take its uh, below line as a secondary line, then they would get um, a little compromised version of sound. So let's say um, here we play. So I, I'm going to do as A string, as a primary note. Then you would do. So you find out the best sounding spot on A string which is this one. So, but since it, for this string it's not the best sounding point, we can put a little more weight to make it sound somewhat okay. below lines, bottom notes, in this case, as a primary note. Therefore, you will get, use our sounding points of the bottom line uh, string. And the other one, apply a little more weight so that you can somewhat make the sound okay. So, so. for all violin 
Spanish uh, to know and master how to do that because uh, depending where the melody is, where the important lines are, you have to do both ways. Often, not always, often the melodies happen to be upper line, so um, we tend to put more emphasis on the upper line notes. But um, you might have seen if you're playing Bach fugue or similar pieces like that, the melody goes sometimes in between, in the middle or in the bottom. So it would be good for you to master all that. Um, about uh, the weight of the bow when playing double stops, it is even though uh, we're using the sounding point of one string and then putting a little more weight on the other string, in general, it is a bit heavier than you would play in single string. So single string, can just put moderate weight and it somehow produce enough uh, sound but if I do the same amount of the double stop as you can see it just doesn't doesn't have enough resonance it just doesn't ring enough so I have to then raise my elbow a bit higher so that I can apply the weight from my arm uh, to the bow so a little higher elbow than you would play single note. Also what I do is I, I grab my index finger a little deeper. So this is how I would normally play single note. Yeah, like that. But when I play double notes or triple double stops, I wrap a little more index finger because I have to apply much more weight when I play double stops. So a little more all the way there. So a little more wrapped with the index finger. So that's a uh, second thing. So elbow a little higher, index finger a little more wrapped. Here, just like any, any other bow stroke, your finger joints, wrist, elbow, all parts should be nice, relaxed and flexible. However, um, when you're playing double stops, your wrist movement gets a little smaller. So uh, you, when you're playing single note, This comes up quite a bit, but when I play double or triple, in this case just double, you see my wrist didn't go quite up as much. Let's try again. Single. slow bow just like I would do single note same way let's say I'm doing fast staccato one just like I do single bow and oh sorry and then you would do the same way in this case the only difference when it comes to bow speed and weight would be only weight. So you would put more weight, you make the bow heavier so that you can grab both strings well while making both strings somewhat resonant enough. Um, when you're playing uh, double stops, because there's so many things happening, especially when you shift, when you're shifting, we tend to get a little tense because it's challenging on the left hand. If I may suggest one more exercise to help your left hand a little more relaxed, therefore it will help your right arm to be relaxed as well, would be um, just like um, single note shifting. I made um, several videos about shifting, so please check out those. So you're simply lifting um, lifting your finger 
well, I shouldn't say lifting, but make your fingertip lighter during the shifting. Keeping the finger on the string, and when you're there, then leave it down. Yeah. Same concept works also on double stop. change much we make the bow heavier by raising our elbow a bit and then we we wrap our index finger quite quite deeply in not a little more deeply wrap all the way to where the finger starts gets wrapped there um, and then the wrist does move but smaller range a little less active than you would have done in single note um, I hope this video is helpful. Um, when you're playing double stops, don't try to achieve too much at once, even though we're all very tempted to do that. It is quite tricky technique, so um, just slow little by little. Um, pay attention to your left hand and right arm, listen to your intonation. Sometimes just playing two, three, Four notes might be just enough on one day and see if you can gradually um, increase the amount of the practicing. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye-bye.